Welcome everybody, my name is Marcus Stone and in this video you will learn a few tips what you can do in Microsoft Teams. So let's start. The first tip I have for you is when you're going to see a chat here and you see some important message, you want to click on these three dots and you can save the message. This is a really cool thing to do if you want to get back to some uh, really long posts or whatever. And when I'm going to click here and I'm going to click here on saved, I can see all the saved messages here. So this is a really cool thing to do. The second tip I have for you is really simple. What you want to do is go to chat and then when you're going to have like a lot of chat here, a lot of chat bubbles, you want to click on one and just click pin. Right away, this one, the pin, is going to be the most important one. So, and all of the others are going to be beneath it. The third tip I have for you is really simple. Using connectors for your teams can be really helpful. So what you want to do is just click on these three dots here in teams and then just click connectors. Straight away, you're going to see a lot of programs that you can use like Google Analytics. You can also like write here Trello and connect them and use them for your teams. This is also perfect thing to do. The fourth tip I have for you that you can easily add tabs for your teams. And what you want to do is just be in a team. Let's click plus here and you're going to see a tabs here. You can choose from all Microsoft services, from Poly to OneNote, Excel, and many more. So definitely check it out. The five tip I have for you is to easily use shortcuts, which can simplify your work. So when you're going to write here, busy. Your status is being set to busy, really simple. And you can see it here. Then you can also write call. And you can write the name who do you want to call. Also, if you want to write a message, just write this and one, two, three, sending your message, really simple. Now, what I really like is that you can use things like control E, how it works. So this is the five tip I have for you. The next tip I have for you is to pinning all the other applications to your bar here. So when you're going to click here and click like one note, you can see it here right click you can just pin it if you want to or uninstall it and just easily delete it so you're gonna have like all the applications here which is perfect so yeah this is like really perfect thing the next tip i have for you is to turning on the channel notifications which is really important in team microsoft so when you have your team and your chat here you want to click on more options click on channel notifications and you get like all new posts, notify me every time, notify me every time there is a new post in this channel, banner and feed or only show in feed and just click include all replies, click save. And this is like perfect thing if you got something important in your team. The next thing is when you want to have a privacy in Microsoft Teams, what you want to do is just click here, add a channel and create a channel and change the privacy to private. Next. And you're gonna just add the channel, just add some names here. And this one will be pri private so you can share all the important stuff here. The ninth tip I have for you is really simple. Adding background for your video. When you're gonna click mid now, mid now, three dots and show background effects. You can easily choose whatever background effects you want. You can also use Minecraft or just some nebula here. So this is another tip. The 10 tip I have for you is to pin for teams. So what you can do is when you're going to hear team and you're going to have like a lot of teams, you can just easily take here and where is it? Here, pin it. And as you can see, you got pinned your team. Another thing, which is also pretty cool, is to write a post. So when you want to, don't want to just write to the chat, you can just click here, format, and add a subject. And just easily start a conversation, which is also pretty cool. So yeah, and you can make it also important. So this is how you can also write a post in Teams. And the last tip I have for you is to making announcement. So when you're going to again click here and start a new conversation, click on format and click here on new conversation and go to announcement. And 
important and you can just easily send it nice and add a subhead please read this and you get a really perfect announcement here so thank you very much everybody for watching if you enjoyed this video you can support me and subscribe i'll be really thankful for it thank you everybody have a great day and see ya goodbye